evening, buddies. It's the Ron and Fez show live tonight. In the Where Are They Next file, it's Ron and Fez constantly jumping back and forth between middays and nights now. Tonight, uh, we'll be uh, live at nights. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll be live on middays. So there's tonight's programming note. Live tonight, right now live, tomorrow live midday. 10 a.m. 877-692-1027. Friday, we did midday so we could go out Friday night with the boss to the uh, fabulous Morton's restaurant for some steaks. Fez Watley? Yes, Ron. You are the champ. <laughs> the champ. Well, Fe Fez Watley sits down and has a dinner that literally brought waiters, uh, cooks came out to take a look at them. Other patrons. Uh, the maitre d' came over. All were impressed. And I'm not making this up at all. Fez Watley sits down and eats the Morton's Double Porterhouse. 48 ounces of steak. He takes it right down to the bone while drinking seven seven of sevens or highballs, as Fez keeps <laughs> referring to them. It was a real night out on the town. What a dinner. It literally was like, you know how your whole life you've always wanted to eat with Jackie Gleason or Babe Ruth, Toot Shore, <laughs> Minnesota Fats, one of these real bigger-than-life guys who's just swallowing up the room. That was Fez Watley Friday night. And never missed a beat. Man, that was a good steak. 48 ounces of steak, two side dishes, seven highballs, a sambuca, and then the chocolate souffle. Oh, and the apps. Oh, what did you have for apps? I had the scallops wrapped in bacon like we're recommended wow. by our listeners. Thank you so much. Good suggestion, people. So the scallops wrapped in bacon. What were you feeling like after the 48-ounce uh, challenge was over? Uh, very excited about that. You know, just never gave up hope. Yeah, sure. You know, what I did was I went ahead and had the filet part of that first. Separated that, had the filet part, thinking, you know what, a filet never fills me up, so I'm going to be excited that there's more steak left over when what? I start working the other side of that porterhouse. Uh, what exactly was the porterhouse? It's a filet on one side and then T-bone on the other? Yeah, I guess so. So then, so excited, I had to have the uh, chocolate souffle cake for dessert. Sure. Well, you'd already ordered it. Yeah. Yeah, you had to order that early, so it went ahead. At the very end of it, when Fez is drinking his very last cocktail, and you said they were pretty uh, that first slamming. Yeah, that first one that the bartender brought, man, that was, that was strong. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, I'm buzzed already. Jeremy hasn't even gotten here yet. Right. Well, at the very end of the night, I don't know how aware you were of this, the waiter kind of gave you a, uh, when you ordered your very last highball. He because, did? Yeah, because it was a shiver like, oh, my God, what if I had to do this? Just the amount of drinking and eating from one man. And it was disgusting in a very exciting uh, male way. By the last highball, I was in a different world. Yeah, you were pretty whacked. I was, I was really, really full. In fact, the more I, each sip of the highball was actually feeling like another bite of steak. It was all the same at that right. point. Everything e was the same. Everything was filling me up. It was the first time on a Saturday morning I never woke up hungry. Uh, people on the answer feedback want to know if Fez out drank Rory. Rory purposely, I guess because the boss was there, did not drink. I waited until I came back to the office to have a beer. You didn't want to be drunk in front of the boss your first night out, huh? Exactly. It's a very smart move, I'll tell you the truth. At your first boss's dinner. Because, you know, Fez, uh, you know, everything's big. He's got the heat right now. The boss was glad to give him something. I could have gotten away with that. Right. He looks like, like I said, Jackie Gleason. You would have looked like some punk kid who had no responsibilities. But I went into it knowing I really wanted to do some damage, knowing we were going on Jeremy's teat. Now, here's the other beauty of it. Uh, Rory almost couldn't finish the souffle, and we were like, how could you do that in front of Fez? But I was completely full after my meal. Problem was, I had some chocolate earlier in the day, and it was just too much chocolate at that so point. So did I! Yeah, you know, but it was the 48-ounce champ that did it for you. Yeah, that's 48 true. ounces. Now, just to point out to people who are trying to figure that out, Rod Stewart had to uh, have his stomach pumped after 48 ounces. 
Fezzy kept right on going. There you go. I was fine. I did come back to the office, sat on the can for a while. But other than that, I was good. I had a little trouble walking after we left the restaurant. I had to go pretty slow. I was moving kind of slow at the junction. How much uh, is that in pounds? How many ounces is a pound? Twelve? Is it twelve or what? Sixteen? I can never tell. We got all these college boys sitting around. Not one person can help us. <laughs> no one, no one ever took a math class. But yeah, that was a really good steak, and I felt good that I was able to do it. What a great place, Morton's is too. Classy, huh? Yeah, very classy, very uh, old school. You know, a guy's place, but you can take your chicks there. But you know, you you have your boots, this nice Frank Sinatra playing. You know, you can picture Mickey Mantle walking in there. They got what they call the show-and-tell menu, where they bring the raw steaks right out to you. All right, 16 ounces in a pound. Thank you. And some feedback always beats our own, guys. I don't know why I don't know that anymore. Always so know 16 that. 16 into 48, you're over three pounds of beef. Nice. Plus, you're drinking your <laughs> side dishes. <laughs> that cream spinach was excellent. You were the best. It was all good. And it was a situation where at the end of the meal, I'm done with the dessert and everything, but I'm still ordering the highballs. I still want to keep going on the bar tab. So then the, as the waiter would go by, just a, a slight toast to that man as he'd bring me another one. Slight toast. Just hold the glass up to him. I'm telling you, at the end he moaned. He went, uh -huh. When you said one more. That I didn't catch. One more. <laughs> All right, here's Eddie the Murderer. Really? Hey, Eddie the Murderer, how you doing, pal? Come on, guys. Come on. I don't need no more police action at my house. Give me a break. Listen, I just... Hey, wanted... Eddie, I killed 48 ounces of steak. Yeah. I just... That is fake, because my brother ordered that at my sister's 40th party, uh, birthday party. We ate at Morton. Great food. And the, the tab came out with six thousand dollars sure it did and mm -hmm. you murdered two people no 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 to pay no, for it no my my brother my brother -in -law he's a, a spy in, no he's a partner down in wall street i mean big money so it, uh -huh. was, it, was, it was he just put it on his card and walked out i mean he was ordering two three hundred dollar bottles of wine he didn't care but we had well advertisers we had the giant he doesn't shrimp, have a brother mm -mm. No. and the lamb chops, let me tell you, the baby lamb chops. Yeah, were, Sherry uh, Lewis was at the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that lamb right. chops. Right. But listen. Yes, I want to... No, Wait a minute, then President Reagan walked in. Listen, right. Listen, guys, and I want to come visit you uh, when you finally get your schedule straight. No! I'm going to make... I'm, I'm, gonna I'm make, the one who says things. I want to I wanna make you... Ho hoagies that you would never believe. Yes, we're going to eat uh, food from a murderer. Listen, give me a break, guys. Anything you come up with, we don't believe. <laughs> oh, no. All the Nothing with the sealed. hoagies. Everything will be sealed from the cold cut, from the, with the prices on it. I'll open it in front of... Ronnie, this is $4,000 baloney. No, no. It's, and his date it's that be... day will be Eleanor Roosevelt. Wow. No, come on, guys. No, truthfully, I, I, want, I want to come to the studio. As soon as you get your schedule... Finally settled, okay? Are you coming to kill us? No, I love you guys, especially Fezzy. Fezzy, the stalker loves you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I That's do. good All to right. know. Thanks, right. uh, thanks Listen. Eddie the Murderer. <laughs> Thank you. All right, see Bye-bye. He ends up in the paper for allegedly killing people. Next thing, yes, my brother bought us $6,000 worth of steak. I was there with uh, Morgan Fairchild. Here's Brian, you're on Run of Fez. Brian. Yo, Fezzy. But I... How are you? Good. You just ate 12 quarter pounders the other night. Wow, that's putting it in perspective. Now, do you actually think you could? No, there's no way I could eat 12 quarter pounders. But when you see that beautiful steak laid on your plate, you just keep eating. It was gigantic. It was so and, thick, and it, it took was, up the plate. And it was cooked perfectly. The, the last bite was as delicious as the first. And then I'm having a flay, and I kid you not... Fez asked me if he could have a bite. I'm like, get the hell out of here. Look how much more you got to do. I said, wow, Ronnie, your steak looks really good. Here's uh, Ice Dog. Ice Dog, you're in front of Fez. Hey, hey Ice Dog. Fez. Bye, How you doing, Fez? Ron, good yeah. to talk to you guys. Yeah, buddy. Well, see, I got to say something, man. You are the man. 
48 ounces of steak, you are definitely the man. And I'm a big guy. I'm about 320 pounds. I can sit down and eat steak with the best of them. And you want to know something? You made the Ice Dog Hall of Fame. Wow. Nice. Finally, ice dog. Si finally, some recognition. You deserve it. 48 ounces, mate. Thanks, that's, dog. That's an accomplishment, man. Yeah, it really was. And then having the seven cocktails with it, it was just bigger than life, Fez. <laughs> it was bigger than life. That's the kind of Manhattan meal you want to have. Here's uh, Don. Don, you're on Iron of Fez. Hey, Don. Hey, Fezzy, how's it going, bud? Congratulations. Thank you, Don. I appreciate that. Let, let's go head to head, though. In Chicago Chop House, I did a 60 ounce porterhouse. Wow. A plate of calamari, and I finished my son's chicken cutlet parmesan. <laughs> now, Don, are you a big guy or just a big eater? I'm a uh, six two two and a quarter. All right, that's you know not humongous. It's a you know it's a manly. That's a, a decent manly, weight. I think. Fezzy, do you think you'd want to go out and ever try one of these places where you eat the big steak and you get it free? Because I think you could do it. You know, maybe one day I could try it. You Here's know, I really got to be in the right frame of mind for this thing. And you didn't train for this. No. This was just you coming in off the bench, no stretching, nothing, and you have a 40-point game. But I just knew it was all attitude because I knew Jeremy was going to take us to dinner. Yeah. And I wanted to do this to Jeremy. Jeremy in the was worst a, way. Jeremy was appalled, as we all were. <laughs> but, you know, Jeremy comes from a whole different world. It's, uh, you know, he doesn't um, see that as being a big accomplishment. He's from England, where they really don't even have food. At one point, he talked about uh, going drink for drink with me. Right. He made it through the top of a <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> the orange juice part. I, I kid you At not. At one point, he asked the waiter to scrape some of that vodka off the top. Then they gave him a little port wine thing when you had your Sambuca. He couldn't finish that. I'm wondering, why is Jeremy the boss instead of Fez? Fez can obviously eat and drink more. Eat and drag him under the table. <laughs> but you're right, that whole British thing. That'll get to you. Oh, yeah. They don't even know what food is. You're not going to be able to compete. Kevin, you're on running Fez. Hey, hey, guys, what's up? Listen, hey, buddy. I don't know if you guys think you can handle it, but there's a restaurant out in Long Island that offers a 72-ouncer. Uh, for free, if you can handle it within an hour. Now, oh, what? an hour. Yeah, see, I mean, I don't yeah. want to sit there and act like my man is an animal. See, I, not. I actually, you know, sat there and I enjoyed that right. 48 ounces, and we, every bite of it. Yeah, and we talked and we had fun and you were funny and you were interesting. Thank you. You were meeting people. You know, people were coming over, waiters were going, way to go. And we didn't know it was such a big accomplishment. I had no idea. I just thought it was the large steak. You know, like getting the large fries or something. Bruce, you're on a fez. Hey, Bruce. What's up, buddy? Big ass card holder, 72327. Hoo-ah, hoo-ah. Yo, man, Jeremy wanted to take you guys out to dinner, but it sounds like Fezzy took him to the bank. Yeah, man. he really did. That's That was my whole plan. See ya. See ya. See ya. Thanks for the call, Bruce. Especially after it looks like uh, we got burnt. Well, we're not getting our Dells, right, uh, Rory? Yeah, we were not presented with any Dell computers. I'm still working on that. You can't work on it. It's either going to happen or not. He's but either going to say yes or no. He's, he's... I mean, that would have been the time to do it eh, with the dessert. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying. But I don't want you to keep trying. Just tell me that I won't buy one. All right. Uh, let me uh, talk to him tomorrow, and I'll find out definitely. Unless he's going to do it at the big uh, Wednesday night party. Oh, maybe that's what it is. There's so much pulling us off our night show anymore. There's a lot going on. 877-692-1027. Now, I noticed, like, the next day, after I had the big meal, yeah. anytime I tried to eat anything, I got full really fast. I don't know what phenomena that was. But for the rest of the weekend, wasn't real hungry. And then when I did eat something, I filled up quick on it. Sure, like a snake with a rat. That's not to be uh, surprised. It's like when a snake swallows a big rat. He doesn't eat again for a week. So everything, that steak, that 48 ounces was still in there getting worked well, on. you got to figure. By my juice. That thing uh, took a while to digest. Yeah. It was just piled in there. It was crammed in there. Remember how... I outgrew my shirt in one meal. How Rory and uh, Jeremy were embarrassing us by not being able to tell the difference between medium and medium rare. And then uh, the the uh, guy had to come over. I guess it's the maitre d' had to come over. Actually, I had to check out their steaks. See what color their steaks were. Just to make sure they had gotten the right ones. I was halfway through mine saying it was fine. 
Will, you're on Ron and Fez. Hi, Will. 150.47. All right, buddy. Hoo-ha! Yeah, I'm going to Morton's tomorrow night. I was curious if I should order the Watley. I wish they would name the steak after you. That would be great. The big-ass Watley. The double porterhouse Watley. Here's the other funny thing they do at this place. At Morton's, they they show you the steaks before they cook them, and then they show you a live lobster. Yeah, they bring it all out on the tray. They call it the show-and-tell menu. Now, I don't know if I could order the lobster that's still alive when I know the steak's already dead. What if they just brought out the cow? What do you think? Does this look good to, to you? I guess so. How about getting them about right here? I'll take this cut right about here. Not so much here or here, but here. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in about 40 minutes. Here's uh, Matt. Matt, you're on around the fence. Hi, Matt. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. But I... hey, I'm just visualizing this whole thing, man. It's just like John Candy, the old 96er. Got to eat the grizzle, too. Oh, yeah. I think you can uh, do it, Fez. No problem. The 96er? Yeah. See, now, my brother, my little brother, I called him, Travis, the next day because I knew he had gotten his name on a plaque put up in a restaurant for doing uh, eating a big steak before. Yeah. So I called him to see how big that steak was because I'm sure it was much bigger than what I accomplished. It was also 48 ounces. And he's on a plaque. What was the restaurant? It was uh, Don Shula's Steakhouse. Oh, I know that place. They only serve Chuck Steak. <laughs> he ate a big burger. <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Here's uh, John. John, you're on the run. Fez Show, buddy. How are you? Hey, hey John. Good, guys. Hey, good. Listen, uh, Fez, what kind of steak was this? Double Porter House. Oh, I thought it might have been figuring for you maybe a big tube steak. You know, John, I'm not going to let you ruin this for Fez and the rest of us, okay? He accomplished something. You have to deal with that. You have to start treating Fez differently now, like the king that he is. Right. The steak king. Put away the steaks and the drinks. You know what I want to do, Fez, is take you out for clams next. See if you yeah. can't sit there and eat a bushel. <laughs> Just sit down by yourself, eat a bushel of clams like they're peanuts. <laughs> Do you think this was better than, or equal to, or less than, when I put away the 52 pieces of sushi? Wow, that was a special night, because you started to blow up that night. Yeah, I really started to look like the new Jerry Lewis. Although, uh, Royal backed me up on this, and we were walking down the street. Didn't Fez's stomach was just really out far? Just really pushed to all its limits? It really, I was Ethiopian baby. Oh yeah, it definitely was. But also, my buttons uh, were stretched, and I don't know whether it's you weren't even slurring a bit. I mean, you know, I don't know whether the the steak in your stomach was soaking up all that alcohol. I think it had to have, because those drinks were really strong, and I think that much steak was able to counteract the effects of the alcohol. Here's uh, Randy. Randy, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. How you doing, buddy? Randy. Hey, what's up, buddy? It's Big Ass 307 here. All right. Hoo-ha! I want to congratulate Mr. Fez Watley for eating an ounce of steak for each 48 continental state. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's a great patriotic way of putting it. I hope Texas tastes good. <laughs> Texas was delicious, and I had a fine dessert for Alaska and Hawaii. I should have had the baked Alaska. I'm telling you, I was full after my meal, Fez. And what do you think, uh... Well, I was full. What do you think those flays were, like 12 ounces? Yeah, they were probably like 12. Maybe. They were huge. And you ate four times that much. <laughs> four times that much of meat. When it's, when it's cooked right. Here's, uh, Carlos, showing around the fence. Hey, Carlos. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Buddies. Hey, buddy. Bye-bye. Yo, uh, if you go to Shula, uh, Shula.com, you, you can go to the 48-ounce club. And you have the names of all the people that ate 40 ounce, 48 ounce steaks. And like, I ate one and I finished half of it. I couldn't do it. So oh, you, didn't, do you, it. you didn't get on the website, huh? No, I failed horribly. Did your brother make the website? He's probably on there somewhere. All right, thanks a lot, Carlos. Uh, I don't know if they've buddy. got his name up there yet or not. That's exciting stuff. You should be on a website. <laughs> we'll put you on our website. Big Fat Steak Eater's website. Fuzz ate a uh, huge amount. <laughs> And it was so, so good. Boy, we'll have to do that again with Jeremy. All right, let me see. R.J. Cooper says, uh, the Red Lobster near me has all-you-can-eat crab legs, snow crab legs. The record is 11 plates. Whoa. Is there any food that you like as much as you do steak, Fez? I don't know if there's anything I could eat like I eat a steak. I just love it so much. There's nothing better than a great steak. 
What if we do this? We put you up as our representative in the Rock and Ribs contest. Who can beat Fez eating ribs? Wow. I don't want to let you down. You couldn't let me down, my friend. You gave me the greatest night of my life. You know, I thought I was born too late. I wanted to hang around with Jackie Gleason and Toot Shore and Babe Ruth. I had all that experience. Friday night you did. It was bigger than life. My problem is like the paintball. I had that one great shot right at the get. And then I was never able to top that again. Should I walk away now in my glory? Don't. Look, I saw what you are, okay? I saw what you are. You're the natural. You are the natural. Natural meat eater. And nothing could ever change that. And I'm telling you, that night of Morton's was the greatest night of my life. Seeing Fez sit in front of 48 ounces of meat. And he just stares it down. And I see the four kidding and the knife. It was all just one move. And you could just see you pick up a little spark off the plate because he was moving. And, and people were coming around. Flash bulbs were going out. And the classiest thing I think Fez did was take his napkin and had it stuck down his shirt. And that's when you know someone's seriously eating. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to lose one drop of the delicious juice. And slamming drinks the whole time. Telling stories. He's holding court. Fez, you were, you were bigger than life. And I think you could be that any day you want it. And now finally I'm starving again. Three days later, I'm finally starving again. Here's uh, Jim. Jim, you're on run of Fez. Hey, Jim. Yeah, listen, guys, my son was born premature. He was actually 46 ounces. So, Fez, you ate more than my son weighed. I could have eaten your kid. You could <laughs> eat a baby. Fez, you could have sat down at that plate. That night I could have. And ate a baby. <laughs> I'm starving. Don't worry. Fez is not going to eat you. We're not going to let Fez eat you. I just eat steak, baby. He's just going to yeah. lick you. He's just going to lick the silly parts. Rub your butter. Here's uh, John. John, you're around Fez. John, what's going on? Hey, Fez. This is the summer of uh, familiar. Hi, Morton. You are known for our steak. The USDA prime, green fed, Midwestern D.C. Four and a half to three weeks in search of Florida. Florida steaks are essentially of the room. Two thirds New York strip, one third filet mignon, it's separated by the bone. If you have a double cut quarter ounce, which is for the hardier appetite, it's also an excellent steak to share. Ribeye steak. Hi, right, yeah, let me put, thank you very much. <laughs> That's how the 48 ouncer was offered to us. It's a great um, steak to split. And we're looking around going, uh, we're all guys here. Yeah, who's going to share a steak? No one's going to share one around Fez. <laughs> you lose a finger, you try that. Fez, you were bigger than life. Thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate it. I literally, it was the greatest night of my life. A lot of hard work and eating went into that. And, uh, and let me tell you this, he didn't train. Here's Alex, you're around a Fez. Hey, Alex. Hi. Hi, Ron. Hi, Fez. Hi, Alex. <laughs> There's a place in Pennsylvania, in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. They have a 96-ounce burger that you will get for free if you finish it within an hour. Boy, what's the bun look like? Uh, it's huge. I saw this on TV. It's, like, bigger than pizza pie. Who wants 96-ounce burgers? It's bigger than a pizza pie. <laughs> what a crazy thing to sit there and try to eat. You sat down and ate a large pizza by yourself before, haven't you? Yeah, I'm, yeah I've done that. Yeah. Then some. Chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Those are the best. Yeah, what happened was I got nervous. We did the midday show on Friday. And then after that, I was having a couple beers in the office. And Billy was hungry. And I knew he wasn't going to the dinner. So he wasn't invited. So he got out those Rocky Road brownies. And I had one and a half of those before our big dinner. And those things were thick. Well, you don't have to sit there and try to make it even bigger. What you did was enough. <laughs> we don't have to hear about every meal you had leading so up. So I got me. nervous that I was going to mess this up for myself. Here's uh, Rob. Rob, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Rob. Buddies. Hey, buddy. Bye -bye. Hey, did you guys ever see the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, I'm straight. Okay. In that case, I'll tell you about it. There was a great scene. Anybody who's seen it knows it, where they're at the restaurant at the end of the universe, and the cow comes up. It introduces itself to you, and it tells you which parts of it are the best to eat. 
famous scene. All right, thanks a lot. Sounds it's, great. I probably never watched it. They should be playing that on Morton. You know, let's not take off well, what has happened here. Fez has done something extraordinary. He sat down, had seven cocktails, along with 48 ounces of medium rare beef. I'm just worried that if I had actually known what I was doing, that I wouldn't have been able to pull it off. Would you stop playing yourself down, Fez? You're a hero. You're no. Bigger, you're, no. A, you're a hero at a time when this nation needs heroes. So maybe we look across the ocean and we say, we've got a man who, despite all the terrorism threats, the anxiety that the city of New York feels, can still manage to sit down and have seven cocktails along with 48 ounces of beef and then finish that with a beautiful Godiva chocolate souffle. I just did what I had to do. I did my job, Ronnie. I cleaned my plate. I know what you're saying, but not a lot of guys would do it, Fuzz. That was just what I was always taught to do. Clean my plate. And I did. I didn't leave any of that Godiva chocolate souffle cake. Like others. Dan, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Dan. Hey, Ron and Fez, big ass card holder, 13536. Hoo, 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 ah. Mr. Yeah, uh, let me tell you something, Fezzy. Monstrous job. That's epic. Yeah, oh, it really thank was you. great. Now, uh, my question do you have anything else with the steak? Any potato, anything? Yes, he did. He had potatoes and cream spinach. Wow. And, and we will. Appetizer. Uh, we will admit, I mean, he finished his appetizer, which was four scallops wrapped in bacon. You didn't really finish your side dishes, nor did no. you set out, though. You did finish your dessert. Right, I ate all the cake. And you finished all the liquor you could. Well, Basically, it was like I'm seven Fezzy. doubles, like 14 shots. And I couldn't have got another drink in me, not even another taste. I was filled up to my throat. Here's uh, Andrew. Andrew, you're on Run Fez. Andrew! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Bye, Dad. Fez, you realize you ate more food than the whole cast of Survivor? That's good to know. Yeah. I don't even understand it. <laughs> you mean the whole time they're on the island or wherever? I don't think he knows. He's just trying to compare things. Nick, you're on Run Fez. Hey, hey, Nick. How you doing? Yeah. But hey, I. Fez, good job, but man, I'm worried about you. What's the worry about? Why? You're going to eat yourself all this meat to death. Remember that Simpsons episode where Homer went up against Red the Trucker and he died winning the competition? Oh, yeah. You're going to end up the same way. Who's going to entertain me? I'm going to tell you this, uh, Fez. I do want you to, to sit down and just see how many ribs that you can eat. To say, I know that you're nervous about saying you're a gluttonous guy. Right. But you don't have to win these things all the time. You just have to show. <laughs> you know, it's like a nice, uh, like when you go out golfing with a celebrity. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who wins. You're having fun. That could be you instead of people going out golfing with you. People can go out and eat with you all on Saturdays and Sundays. We'll let different people take you out every weekend. So wow. they can out eat you. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about my health. I'm on cholesterol medicine. Sure he is. So that's all taken care of. Maybe you can that's go all good. to the next pool party with Martian. <laughs> Although, Fez, they wouldn't let you swim for after six weeks. <laughs> I know. I'd have to just sit there on my towel. Heel. Let's get uh, Martian on the, on the line here. I want to find out how the big gig went. Okay. Martian, of course, last week named our official representative from the RonFez.net message board. She's basically the spokesperson. She's spokesperson. She's kind of their cruise director, that's for sure. Sure. So we'll talk to her. She's official spokesmodel, I guess we'd have to say. Hey, Don has a uh, steak-related question for you. Don, you're on Ron Fez, buddy. Hey, Don. Hey, Fez. How you guys doing? Yeah, we're cool. Ah, where's my question? Fezzy, you started out, it was all hot and warm, right? Yes, your steak. How got to the <laughs> end of the meat? Wasn't it cold? You know what? It really wasn't, because I told Ronnie this. My first couple bites, I went at that steak, and I told Ronnie this during the meal. I go, wow, that thing's so hot, I burned my mouth on it. So, okay. no, it was still quite warm by the time I was done. Uh, yeah, because ain't nothing worse than cold meat, you know? I don't mind it. <laughs> Have a great I got night, no guys. problem. Thanks for the call. Thanks for the question. Yes, you, sir, in the back row. 
877-692-1027. Here is a Bruce. Bruce, you're on Ron Fez. Bruce, what's going on? Hey, guys. Says, I'm real worried about you. I'm a veterinarian, and I had a patient one time, a dog. He ate three pounds of beef, and his stomach blew up. He bloated up, and his stomach twisted, and I had to do surgery on him, and he almost died. I say that Fez could end up eating that dog. What kind of dog was it, Bruce? It was a German Shepherd. Hmm. So you can eat more than the German Shepherd, Fez. You'd think the Shepherd would be able to handle it. And I was bloated, Bruce. I'm not going to deny that. The buttons well, were stretched on my be, shirt. Be careful next time, buddy. We'll, we'll miss you. Be careful. Fez, don't let these people get into your head. Into your kitchen, so to speak. You had a very, you had a gentleman's night out. Thank you. This isn't some hot dog eating contest where Japanese guy is just eating as quick as he could. You sat down like a man. Yeah, I wasn't shoving it in. I took my time. I was quite deliberate about it. And you were interested in company all night. Thank you, Ronnie. More than just a steak. You were telling funny stories. You were, you know, you were buying drinks. Everybody got a kick out of you. We were laughing it up. Here's Tony around Ron and Fez. Hey, Tony. Hey, yeah, buddy. One five three five eight for etiquette. Uh, yeah, one time me and my friends sitting around watching a ball game, and this big kid, big friend of mine, ate four large pizzas and then like beat up his younger brother and then ate his small pizza. All of us just sitting around it was one of the best eating things I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure you're gonna hear a lot of kind of stories like this in your life now, Fez. Yeah, I, I guess these are my people from now on. Well, ones that got away.